Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you guys just heard, that was a cold start on my 2020 Civic Si, but today is a very, very, very exciting day because I finally get to do my exhaust, which I've been sleeping on and waiting forever to do, but I finally got some downtime due to this whole you know, quarantine situation that's going on. So I'm gonna actually head over to the place which is called Muffler Tech. For those of you who live in the Sacramento area or around here, you guys will know it. And I actually got recommended by one of you guys down in the comment section. So I actually did a poll on Instagram to see between if you guys would prefer a dual or the quad. I preferably always wanted the dual and guess what, dual one. So when your gut feeling tells you something and then you guys also tell me, that's the way to go. So I'll catch up with you guys once we get to the shop. Just so you guys get an idea of what the car sounds like now, I put it in sport mode and here's a quick little pull. So as you can see, there's not really much sound going on. It's mainly just the sound that comes from the the, the sound that they pretty much put in these cars. They, they, they put a fake sound just so I guess you feel faster or I don't know, or it just gives you more of a driver experience. But to be honest with you, it doesn't really help you because you feel like you're going a lot. Like the, it, the car basically sounds a lot better than what it really is. When you're outside of the car, there's really no sound. I mean, even with the cold start that I put for you guys in the beginning, it's not really much. And especially not for me, like my, my the CRZ, the car that I had before this, when I drove it, uh, it gave me that feeling of I step on it and I know like exactly where my RPMs are at and, and exactly because you once you drive the car especially with the sound coming out of it you know how your car is driving because you're so used to that sound with this car I drive it I step on it I don't know if I'm pushing it too hard or my RPMs are too high I'm sure I can see it on my screen but it's it's something about the feeling of it with an exhaust luckily the place that I'm going to is not that far from my house it's probably about a 15 minute drive and it's Especially nowadays, there's really no traffic, so I'll be pulling up soon. So I just pulled up guys, I want to go ahead and talk to the owner or whoever's in the office, see how much it's going to be, and, and go from there. So I completely forgot my camera inside the car. They're already working on it, I mean, I didn't even get a chance to like basically it was like, like, you know, because I told them my budget and they're like, you know what, we'll be able to make sure of that. So like, just give me your keys and we'll go from there and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> like. Like that, that's how fast it was, I guess it's because it doesn't seem like they're really, really that busy right now, but they're working on it right now. They just took off the muffler and I also realized that on, that I was so excited to come here that I forgot to get the exhaust clips before and after. But I'll just put in one that I find online. Guys, so I just got the exhaust done and I gotta tell you guys it looks so so much better I mean it, like from what it was before from the little HDMI shit that everyone calls it to doing the dual exhaust and also the color that I went with I think you guys are gonna enjoy it I know I personally do originally I was gonna do the black tips but then when I actually seen it because they hadn't they had another Civic there with an exhaust already on it and it was the two dual tip with the black tips and I was like you can barely even tell it almost looks like you it like it hides it doesn't it's just in my head it, it was different from what I seen it actually in person so now I'll show you guys the reveal so in three two one so as you guys can see I went ahead and went with the dual tip and I also went with a little focus and I went with some burnt tips and I gotta say I like this so much better so so much better I'm so glad that I went with the dual too I just feel like it suits the car right in the middle centered I know the rest of the car is black and maybe just doing something like that to offset the whole thing is 
a little bit doing too much but i really like the fact that it doesn't hide it like the black chips would it was just a little too concealed for me and i personally like this a lot better and i know a lot of you guys are probably like we don't want to see what it looks like we just want to see what it sounds like so i'll go ahead and set down my camera and give it a couple revs for you guys As you guys heard, that was the exhaust revving from all the way from 2,000 2, RPM all the way to 3 to 4 and 5 and so on and so forth. The last one was just holding it pretty much. So it sounds really, really, really good for just being a muffler delete. So I'm going to try to set up the camera so I can do a couple of drive-bys. So One more thing before I forget, I actually want to show you guys what it looks like under the car. So as you can see, they went ahead and got rid of both mufflers on both sides. And the nice thing is they actually put these things there, not just some simple pipe and try to like make it fit without moving. They went ahead and took their time to relocate those hangers. Since I got the new exhaust, I figured the only thing the car is missing now to make it officially a devious car is the banner, which I actually have ready right here. I went ahead and did red. I'm gonna go ahead and slap that on, and after that, put on the devious sticker to make it the devious SI. Hey guys, it's actually the next day. Please excuse my eye. It Freaking allergies are killing me and it looks like someone beat the crap out of me and why it's hella swollen. So I actually put on the red banner, but the only thing I don't like about it is just super bright. It just makes it just makes the car stand out too much. Even in my head, I was like, maybe you know the red will look good or go with the emblems. But I think it's just a bit too much for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap it out. I actually got matte black right here. Since I already have it lined up where I'm gonna wanna put it, all I have to do is put a piece of tape here on this side put a piece of tape on the other side and it'll pretty much just be removing that one putting on the new one and simple as that just so you guys can get an example have to put that on there Now that everything's like blacked out, you slowly see everything coming together from the banner, the way that the letters match the paint of the car. When it comes to like exhaust, like I want someone to know I did something, not just that it comes like that. Yeah, I still like that style. I can tell the car needs a wash, but supposedly it wasn't going to rain today, and next thing you know it starts raining. So. 
those plans are out of the way. But in the next video that I'm going to be doing, I'm actually going to be reviewing this. I've seen that a lot of YouTubers are using this product on their cars, and I was like, okay, I'll try it out and see just, you know, my personal review on it. Because my car gets really dirty, especially it being white. It picks up all the dirt, and then when you have to wash it, you have to make sure you even go over it twice because you miss a spot, or you just, did, you know, you thought you cleaned it perfectly and it didn't work. So I'll be doing a review on the next video. I really, really like how the exhaust came out, but it's missing the blow-off valve sound. And to get that, I'm going to need an intake, which I'm going to go with the PRL because everyone says that that's the one that gives you the best sound. And I want to just be driving in here that whoosh. But if you guys have any suggestions of another one that really gives you a loud, like, kind of like a blow-off valve sound, go ahead and comment it down below. Thank you guys for watching, and until the next video, peace.